What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Sam Skelton and I am a filmmaker, photographer, and YouTuber from Cleveland, Ohio. On this channel, I post mostly videos about my adventures, positivity, and keeping the stoke alive and well. The latest thing that's been keeping my stoke alive is a new feature that is exclusive to the GoPro Hero 9, and it is called Hindsight. It's absolutely changed my GoPro game. It has helped me so much in post-production. The easier my post-production is, the more videos I'm gonna be able to get out to you guys. So I shot a vlog the other day with this camera and my big camera, and the only way I was able to get any FPV surf footage was through the Hindsight feature. So I'm gonna cut to that vlog right now. If you're not into vlogging, I totally get it. Just skip forward to this time code right here, and you can hear me ramble about all the benefits of this new feature, and I'll show you how to set it up on your camera. All right, let's get this. Yep. All right, welcome back to uh, Surfing the Fresh Coast, hashtag unsalted, living the life, bro. Episode number three. Chilling here, about to go surfing. I got my ride or die with me. What's up? Guys, this is Caleb. This is my brother. Caleb, you are my right view of the car right now, okay? I can't see anything. Let's get there safely. Am I good? Shit, I didn't even look. <laughs> it looks like the waves are gonna be pretty good over at Edgewater. We have a poop line and the rocks. Check out both spots, see what's up today. Yeah, I'm feeling, ooh, Caleb, I do. It's like juice. Thank you, it's like juice. moment what do we have oh whoa okay way more manageable than yesterday here's what yesterday looked like dude I will take that what are those three footers like it nice yep all right, in all honesty, guys, we're both a little underprepared. We have booties and gloves and hoods you. and wetsuits and all that stuff coming in the mail. So I don't have gloves or a hood. I do have a 5'3 wetsuit. Caleb's got this shorty 1995, 90, 1995 wetsuit. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to try to pop in. Maybe we can get some footage, some waves. I don't know. Ooh, all right, but here we go. It is 38 degrees here in Cleveland. What's the what's the real deal here? What do you think we're going to be able to pull off? My theory is that the air temp is colder than the water. I think so, too. I'm going to get in there and it's going to feel like a hot tub for like 20, 30 seconds. And then I'm probably going to catch a barrel. The man, the myth, the legend. Wow. Yeah, can't move anything. <laughs> Alright brother, what's the deal? How was it? It was very fun, but it's hard to move my fingers and hands. Like I would go to stand up and it was just like so slow. My knees couldn't wouldn't open up and yeah. I got on one though. Alright, it's my turn. Let's get it. Woo! Oh man. <laughs> it's fun, I'm excited, dude. I'm excited, but I'm not. You know, a hood would be nice. Yeah. We're cold. It's cold. Not too bad though. I'll take it. Got some waves coming in. <laughs> that beep you heard at the end of the clip. Here, listen to it one more time just so you can tell. <laughs> that was me 
pressing the GoPro shutter after that surf clip had just happened. So what is hindsight? I've been talking about it and how it's been changing my, my workflow and the way I've been using GoPros. So let, let's break this down. Hindsight is very similar to what a dash cam is on your car where the camera is recording a loop over and over again. And then if you were to get in an accident or something like that, you would stop it and you would have the last minute recorded. So hindsight records a 15 or 30 second loop constantly when you had the feature on. So I'm surfing right now and I'm paddling around and normally I'd be getting all this footage of me paddling and floating around like an idiot. Now this camera's recording the last 30 seconds or the last 15 seconds over and over and over again. It does not actually store that file until you press the shutter or tell it with a voice command to record. So the last 15 seconds or the last 30 seconds are now on your memory card recorded and then the camera continues recording from the point you press the shutter seamlessly. So this is a huge deal for surfing and mountain biking and snowboarding when most of the time nothing exciting is going on. You can have your camera rolling and then when something epic happens you just press it and the last 30 seconds or 15 seconds are recorded. This absolutely changes my post-production for GoPro because 99% of the time I don't want to be rolling unless there's action happening because you have to look through all that footage. It takes up all the space on your SD card and it really takes hours and hours for me sometimes to get through this footage. Let me show you right here on the computer what a normal folder looks like from me shooting with the GoPro during a YouTube video day. So right here I have the day we shot, which was 11.2, and all of the files you see here that say GH. These are the GoPro files that I shot that day. That's a lot. Sometimes I'm using the GoPro as a vlogging camera, but most of this is me bobbing around in the water, caught out in a riptide, trying to paddle back, thinking I was gonna catch a wave, but then not catching a wave. The only clip I ended up using as a surfing clip was this one right here, GX016348. This day specifically, I only used the hindsight feature for one shot because I didn't know if I was using it correctly. This was the first day I had used it. That one shot ended up being the only shot of surfing I got FPV for this whole video. If I used hindsight for my action sequences for GoPro, I would have like 10 files in here. It would be amazing and post-production is just going to become shorter and shorter and shorter. So with this new hindsight feature, the days of sorting through gigs and gigs and gigs of you doing nothing with a GoPro, discouraging you from even producing content further from the day you recorded are over. This tool is super underrated and it just takes learning more about it to be able to get the shots that will really stand out as far as GoPros go. I think that GoPro as a company has struggled to get into the regular consumer market a lot because of how hard it is to work with these files in post-production. And this is just one more step for people who aren't necessarily into video creation um, to be able to sort through their files a lot easier and only grab onto the moments that count. Before I get out of here, let's take this Hero 9 over to the desk and I'll show you how to set this up just in case you're wondering. It's not very hard, but let's do this. All right, so take your GoPro, turn it on. After the GoPro is booted up, make sure you're on the video setting, photo, time-lapse, video, bada bing, bada boom. Click on your video profile. Right there, you have all your options for video. So you can put hindsight in any of these settings. Just click on the little pencil there with my fat fingers. Boom, right here, you have all your options. See hindsight there. Click on that, you have 30 seconds, 15 seconds, or off. I'm just gonna pop it up to 30. And now hindsight is ready to go. Now just mount your GoPro however you'd like to. So as you see right here, there's a counter. That counter is saying where you are in the last loop of recording. So we'll just wait for it to go up to 30. Once it reaches 30 seconds, what we had set it to, it'll stay at 30 and you have 30 seconds pre-recorded always. Now, something epic happens, click that shutter, boom, the last 30 seconds are recorded, and it'll continue recording on top of that. That's why it says 37, 38, 39. Pretty cool feature. It is really, really useful, especially for action sports, surfing, snowboarding, biking, all of those good things.
So that about wraps it up for today. If you've used this new feature, comment below and tell people how you like it. If you think it's as big of a deal as I do, I really think that this could change the future of GoPros. Guys, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.